All right, check it. So somebody asked me how to know if a girl really liked you or if she just wasting your time. Now, this is a very simple, a very simple explanation. You might even think it's too simple. But in my experience, these are the signs that a woman actually likes you all right first sign number one she wants to hang out with you i put the beginning of the girl in the beginning because this is what women do you could be talking to a girl and she would have no um no future plans to actually see you She's just using you at the time for attention because a lot of them have a need for attention, whether good or bad, whether they like you or not, they feed off of attention. So if you're hanging out with a girl and you're talking with a girl, a easy way to tell if she really like you or not, set a time to hang out. If she like you, she gonna be like, she gonna jump at it immediately. If she don't like you, then she's going to do what that girl did. Bro, she's going to ghost you. She's not going to respond to it. Or she's going to make a thousand excuses. Oh, my grandma, uh, cat just had her first period. So, uh, I'm not going to be able to make it. Oh, my grandma, uh, just lost her virginity. And it was a, a traumatic experience for her. So, we got to go stay around and help her. But she's going to make up some stupid ass shit as to why she can't come. And I'm not saying that. Uh, just because a girl making up excuses that she's really lying but uh, one way to remedy that situation is if she immediately say well I can't come this day but maybe on Thursday I could come then you she she might like you but like I said from my experience when a woman really likes you they jump at the chance to be with you okay so number one she wants to hang out with you number two this is going to be even more simplistic more obvious but a lot of men are fucking stupid they're simple-minded that's why they're called simps they're simpletons bro if she wants to have sex with you this is the greatest sign she wants to have sex with, sex with you the greatest sign because i had dudes in college i never got put in the friend zone because i'm fucking selfish and i don't really care to be around you unless i'm getting set like i had girlfriends like a lot of men be saying oh it's impossible for men and women to be friends no that's because you're a fucking hornball with no self-control so, of course, you would think that. But every girl that I was friends with, I make friends the same way, whether it's a man or a woman. We accidentally become acquainted somehow. <laughs> like, I've been knew this person, they introduced me to you, or I worked at a job, and then she was at the job, so then we became friends. I've been friends with a lot of women where I'm not attracted to them sexually whatsoever. In fact, one of my uh, best women friends, the reason why we were friends is because she reminded me of my aunt so much. <laughs> like, she was attractive. My Actually, one of my friends was like, yo, bro, you gonna hit, bro? I wanna hit her, bro. I'm like, bro, I don't care. I'm not attracted to her. But because she reminded me of my aunt so much that it's like, I see why you think she's attractive, but she reminds me too much of my aunt. I can't get turned on to that. So she was one of my friends, and we never, ever almost did nothing. We were just strictly friends. You feel me? But this is the difference between being friends with a woman and being put in a friend zone. When you put in a friend zone, it's when you want to be romantic with the woman and she doesn't want to with you, but you stay being her friend because you're trying to take the back door to score. And when I say back door, I mean like, you know, in basketball, back door. It's when you're not paying attention, so you think you're about to get a quick assist and layup. That's that's a bitch-ass nigga way to try to score. Not saying in basketball that's smart, but when it comes to a woman, basically you're you're trying to wait to where her guard is down, and you think that's when she's going to let you hit. 
because you're too scared to just say fuck this bitch she don't like me and then move on that's how people get put in the friend zone this is why i'm so direct with women because i don't have time to waste yo you know how finite time is you're gonna be in your body if you if life goes for you normally and you have a healthy lifespan the max you'll live to is like 65 70 max would it let's say you're 18 right now that's not far away before you look up you're gonna be old as shit you think you got time to waste on a girl who don't really like you that's how i always looked at life life is too short for me to play a game do you want to put my private parts with your private parts or not if you do not then bye bye i will find somebody that wants to play with my private parts it's really that simple human animals this is why human are the dumbest animals every other animal they just get it cracking they ooh, i like that you like this let's get it human animals is the only animals that play these dumbass games i don't play dumbass games like i said would you like my private parts in your mouth or not if you do not then bye bye and it's funny because uh so many girls they thrive off of attention that's why you really can't tell if a girl like you or not if you're not hip to the game so i got three examples two using other men one using myself uh of this fact because just because a girl hang around you and be that doesn't mean she wants you to that you could fuck so i always been gamed up all my life you dig what I'm saying? I just always been gamed up because of the influences around me growing up. Plus me seeking the knowledge of the game. I always had game. So I had a friend. Let's call this friend Brad. Brad was one day talking about uh, this girl. He was like, oh, yeah. He said, I'm talking to her. This is how dumb men are. This dumbass nigga think he in a relationship with her. Like, he think they're in the talking stage. Like, you're a dumbass nigga, bro. Like, that's how I was thinking in my head. Like, so this is what I said. He said, oh yeah, so so one of my other friends, let's call him Vinny. Vinny goes, oh, so Brad, how's such and such going? How, how y'all getting along? <laughs> so Brad goes, oh yeah, you know, yeah, you know, it's just going along, you know. <laughs> bro, thinking back, bro, it's it's funny how dumb men are, bro. Like, it's it's funny. So he like, oh yeah, it's going along, you know. We, you know, we've been hanging out here and there, and you know, this morning she, uh, this is when I was in college. Uh, this morning she asked my friend, I mean, she asked me for to take her on a ride, her and her friends to Walmart. <laughs> so um, immediately, cause I'm not a simp, immediately she's using this dumbass nigga for his car. So I just hit him with a simple question, <laughs> bro. I said, bro. I said, bro, did you hit yet? <laughs> this nigga said, uh, bro, 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 literally, that's how he responded. Uh, bro, 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 like stumbling through his words. I said, bro, again, did you hit yet? No, I didn't. Bro, she's using you for your car. She asked, could you take her and her friends to Walmart? You've been hanging with her for about a week or two, and this, and you did it. You're a fucking simp, bro. And you can't see that she's using you for your car. That's story number one. Obviously, he still didn't get no pussy. Oh, and she was a bro. She used to be seen with a bunch of different dudes. So the so it was like kind of strange to me that um she's just you didn't hit yet, and I'm pretty sure she gets around. This was the second story. I told this bro. People don't listen to me. This is why I don't be giving niggas game no more. People don't listen. Same in college. I'm talking to a dude, right? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. It's funny because this girl look exactly like Jada Pickett Smith. Like young Jada, bro, she looks like Jada Pickett Smith. But I'm I could tell that she come from a low class family and not even just ghetto. Cause even ghetto girls, some ghetto girls know how to dress themselves up to where they look like they worth a damn. Bro, this bitch look like she was from a country fucking just worn down piece of shit family like she was tacky as fuck her wig was sloppy her makeup was sloppy bum ass sneakers like just the overall bum ass bitch but she was pretty she looked like jada pickett smith so i had a homie that was crushing on her hard so it's me 
let's call this homie uh uh Trayvon. I'm with Trayvon, other homie, let's say he Randall. So Trayvon talking to Randall, oh yeah, I'm I'm getting closer and closer with the Jada Pickett Smith chick. Yeah, uh, you know, we've been hanging out and all that, but she said she ain't really wanna have sex with me uh on the first day and shit. She wanna get to know me more. <laughs> Oh my god. Bro, I can't help but to laugh because men are fucking dumb as shit. Alright, so then I'm like this. I'm not saying nothing because I don't know the, nothing about the situation at this point. I'm just thinking, I don't know. I, I don't know why, but I like I didn't even have no reaction to it as to like, like the, like the I had to deal with Brad. With Brad, I knew immediately, you're a dumbass nigga. She's using you for your car, obviously. But with him, I didn't have no reaction because I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know the bitch. Uh, and I'm like, the bitch ugliest, or she not ugly, she looks pretty, but I'm like, she's a bum ass bitch to me, so I don't even know why you tripping about this hoe, but to each his own, I just kept my mouth shut, <laughs> but then Randall, Randall says, <laughs> he said, bro, that's not what she told my man, Ty, I said, mm, what, he said, bro, my man Ty fucked on such and such couch the first time, the first night he met her, I just looked at that nigga like, you <laughs> you fucking simp. Bro, so at this point, we firmly established this bitch do not like you, nigga. So I told this nigga, because I'm trying to be a real friend, like, bro, just cut that bitch off. Just stop talking to her. Bro, that shit not going nowhere. And I just got to retell the story because it was so funny. So, so once I knew the full scope of the situation, one day we sitting in the cafeteria. Bro, this bitch walks in, right? Bro, I pay attention to everything. Like, not only being street smart, like, I pay attention to moving cars or who walk in near me. But even when, like, scenarios where seemingly I don't have to be aware, I'm just naturally aware. And I pay attention to all the moving parts. So, I see this bitch walk in the cafeteria. Right? Immediately, this nigga gets up. Oh, I'm about to go get something to drink. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like... Bro, I ain't say nothing, but I'm I'm just watching. Keep in mind, it's two different soda fountains. One this way, one that way. We're closest to this one. This dickhead goes all the way to that one. I said, this nigga not about to get in a drink. Nigga, you about to talk to that bitch that I just said don't fucking like you, and you're going to embarrass yourself. Niggas don't listen to me. So, But this this how nosy I am. I'm like, bro, I, I'm on some National Geographic shit. The young male is trying to secure the female mate. Let's wait and see what happens. So I'm literally creeping up behind. He don't even know I'm following him. But I, I waited till he got a little bit further. Bro, I followed this nigga. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I was embarrassed and I felt bad that I even followed this nigga after what happened happened. Bro, she just was like, I told you I don't want to talk to you no more. Da -da -da. I'm like, oh shit, bro. I said, then he looked at me all this. I said, bro, I told you, bro. But I felt bad because I'm like, damn. But that's just two examples of if a woman do not like you sexually, she's going to use you for something. Whether it's time, attention, your car, your money. She's going to use you because she don't want to use you physically. And that's what you want. You want some pussy. You don't want a fucking friend. I actually had a girl one time. We was, we was fucking around for some time. Then she, uh, she decided to cut shit off. So I said... You know, I'm, I'm keeping it player. So this is a side note. If a girl ever break up with you, bro, act like you don't care. I promise you she'll be back. Or she won't even leave. Bro, I, I really did care. I liked it her. But I, I'm too player to show her that. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. You do what I'm saying? Go ahead, bitch. Do, do your thing. Bro, so I played it smooth, right? Bro. And the next couple days, she kept hitting me up. Oh, um, hey, how's your day going? Bro, I'm hitting her one word responses. Cool. <laughs> you feel me? Cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it a player. Bro, then finally, like, a couple days later, um, I just feel like um, every time I reach out to you, it's me hitting you up first, and you don't hit me up no more. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, bitch, because you said you wanted to be friends. I don't need a fucking friend. Oh, well, can we just hang out and talk about it? Da -da 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 -da. So we ended up, no, before that even happened, she texted me back, oh my God, um, I miss you, and I just want to say you, I had the best sex ever when I was with you, can we uh, start talking again? Bro, so we start talking again, da 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 we start fucking the shit out of her again, whatever. That lasts for probably like a month. Then she'd leave me again. But this time, this is what she said, 
I, I don't I want to leave, but I'm I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose you as a friend, and um I don't really want to because I like you. You're such an amazing person, but I just don't want to. I'm like, listen, I told her straight up, bitch. I don't need a friend. I have plenty of great friends. These niggas is hilarious. I don't need friends. I have that part of my life established. These are my friends, bitch. I'm with you because I want to fuck. She said, oh, but don't we have great conversations and it be, no, bitch, I have great conversation. You sit there and fucking listen. This is this what they don't, only simps like entertain their bullshit because simps are entertained by their bullshit. When you're like me, not trying to toot my own horn, but I'm very like intellectually stimulating. That's why I have a YouTube channel and people listen to me. So I, sometimes I can be by myself and I'll entertain my fucking self. With ideas, thoughts, when you really think about it, YouTube is weird because I'm in a room right now talking to myself, but I'm talking into a microphone and then people hear it and perceive it. Now I'm talking to other people, but isolated from YouTube, I'm in a room talking to myself. This is how entertaining I am. I can talk to my fucking self and be entertained. But women, because most men don't tell them the truth, most men just want to fuck, so they listen to all types of nonsense come out these bitches' mouth, they actually believe they're entertaining. But I told her, no, bitch, you sit there and listen to me. I have stimulating conversation. You don't say shit stimulating. You might ask a question and I might answer it. You might say some funny, goofy shit, I might laugh. But you're not entertaining. The only thing entertaining about you is that you smell good. You make my dick hard. You have a pussy between your legs. Your face is pretty. This is what I find viable in you. You find viable in me so many things. My dick, my conversation, my charisma, my strength. But all you have is a is looks and pussy. So if that's all you have to offer as a friend, and I can't even use the looks and pussy no more, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> bro, this bitch literally said, <gasps> bro, she literally like huffed and threw a tantrum that bitch, I'm not about to be your friend. You're, there's nothing entertaining about you for me to be your fucking friend. That's why I don't get in the friend zone. I'd never fall for that dumb ass shit. Because bitch, I'm not, I'm, I don't need no friends. You know what I'm saying? He said, no location, I can't even drop a pin. Independent, but I can buy your Benz. Whipping arm and hammer, I don't need friends. Like, bitch, you don't, I don't need no friends, bitch. Okay, so that's number two. She wants to have sex with you. This is the ultimate test. Remember, like I told you, we are animals, biological creatures. If she, the, the most precious gift a woman could give you, outside of money, I'll get to that later, uh, is her pussy. She's literally, literally sitting on her back spreading open her legs you're literally entering inside of her at that moment you're becoming one it's just like a puzzle piece you know how when you was a child and you put the square peg in a square hole there was a star peg in a star hole that's dick and pussy it goes together like peanut butter and jelly so if a woman wants to give you her pussy, she's submitting to you. She's deeming he is valuable. If she don't want to give you no pussy, she don't really see you like that. And that's what you want is some pussy. You dig what I'm saying? So that's a number two way to tell if she like you. She want to give you some pussy. Now, now let's use another story with me, for example. Because I'm, like I said, I'm good with never being in a friend zone because I'm so direct. Like, I'll make it obviously, even if I'm flirting subtly, I'm making it obvious I'm flirting with you. I want to eventually put my penis inside of you. You dig what I'm saying? So a girl, like I said, is two ways a girl won't respond. That's why I tell niggas, when I gave niggas that game on how to talk to a girl pussy, I put the video on Patreon now, but uh, some dude told me he lost his virginity, virginity after that video. Because I'm telling you how to talk to her pussy. If, if, if you talking to a girl pussy in the way I tell you to, it's two ways she gonna respond. Ew, oh my God, will you treat me like an object? Or, oh my God, that's so hot. Bro, she said, oh my God, treat me like an object. Bro, she don't like you. Girls want to be treated like an object by guys that they like. Like I told you in that video, I said to a girl before, she posted a selfie. I see the first degenerate thing in my mind. I said, I want to lick your face. She said, well, come do it then. That bitch want the dick. If, if she did not like me, she would have said, Ew, oh my God, you fucking disgusting. Bro, because she's attracted to me and she, she liked 
the freakness that I was on, she was on the same type time. Friend zone. How the fuck could I be in a friend zone after I just said that shit? You dig what I'm saying? Okay, so that's number two. Sex. She want to have sex with you. Also, okay, like I said, this is this is the other time. I never, like, the friend zone shit don't work with me. Like, it never worked. But one time, it's actually, this was kind of like, I ain't going to say it was that recently. It was some years ago now, but... I met a girl, bro. She was so bad. That's why it was a test. I feel like it was a, really a test from the pimp guy. Like, this was my dream girl. Like, like, bro, f celebrity woman, uh, model type woman, bro, she fit the mold. Like, bro, I would be satisfied with her. Like, bro, I would be so satisfied. I would be against the pimp rules, meaning having one is too close to having none. But I'm like, bro, she satisfied my male hypergamy. Like, I would feel comfortable with just dealing with her. That's how bad she was. But she was like throwing a tantrum, like, and she was like giving me the runaround. And I look at that, the pimp guy was blessing me, nigga. Is you really gonna stand on pimp principle, nigga, or is you gonna act, act, act us to this bitch? So one thing she said to me that rang off alarms was, she, I said, yo, let's hang out. But this is what a bitch do when she don't really wanna fuck with you. Yo, let's hang out. Oh my god, what are we gonna do, bitch? You dig what I'm saying? Bro, what are we going to do? What type of shit is that? I don't know. We can do anything. You feel me? What are you going to do? Bro, that means she don't want to fuck you, bro. She waiting for you to say, fuck you. So she can say, oh, no, I don't want to hang out. Bro, she don't want to fuck with you, bro. Oh, what, she kept saying that. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm like, I don't know. We can do anything. I can take you to this, take you to that. Da, da, da. Okay. Then then she said this. Okay, we can hang out, but we're not going to have no sex. Bro, I immediately flipped on that bitch. Bitch, what you think I'm a trick? You think I'm stupid? Like, bro, I, I think I hung up on her. She's like, oh my God, why you do that? That was rude. I said, bro, because you trying to play me like a sucker. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm not. Bro, see, even it's sad because I'm so, like, I done been with too many women now that fucked me immediately that if you say dumb shit like that, I think you're trying to play me for a sucker because that's what bitches say to suckers. Oh, we're not going to have sex. I didn't even have bitches. Now, don't get me wrong. I had bitches say that. Oh, when we hang out, we're not going to have sex. And then they get around me, the energy. And, you know what I mean? I know how to touch her just right to make her want to bite. Like, what the fuck I'm saying? And then we end up having sex. But this bitch, we finally linked up. Bitches are so weird. I mean, once again, I'm not no weird ass nigga. I don't press for pussy. I'll, especially as I got older, I'll chill with a girl and won't press her for sex. Because some girls, I did have some girls chill with me the first night. And we just chilling. And we don't do nothing. Then we have sex later. But... What I always discover is the bitches that fuck me immediately, they always the ones that stay the longest. Always. They stay the longest and I end up usually leaving them. I gotta break up with them. The bitches that always made me wait, it don't matter if it was a... The only, I only made one bitch made me wait and she made me wait like a day. Meaning like the first time we linked up, she didn't fuck me. The first time she linked up, we didn't fuck. Then we fucked again. Bro, th this was the friend zone bitch. Oh, can we just be friends? Bro, she made me wait. So it's almost like she had to talk herself into fucking me. I don't know. But like I said, girls who fucked me immediately, they're the ones that last forever. Even even the, the tall bitch that I told you about. This is how crazy this bitch was when we linked up. I didn't even want to fuck. I was practicing celibacy at the time. Bro, this bitch showed up to my doorstep with like a white cutoff top. No bra on. Hard ass nipples just poking out her shirt. Bro, the moment I opened the door, I said, yo, this bitch wanna fuck. I'm like, bro, there's no way you come to me like this and not wanna fuck. So I'm sitting there staring at her getting hard as shit, cause I'm like, oh damn, like I ain't even wanna fuck. I just was trying to get to know her, but I'm like, bro, this shit making me horny. So, bro, I tell her to come sit on my lap. She sit on my lap. Bro, then I'm like, I noticed she like she didn't have no panties on. I'm like, yo, you're trying to fuck. There's no way you show up to me like this and you not trying to fuck. She ended up just sucking the shit out of my dick. But, and once again, she lasted long as fuck. She submitted to me. Bro, if they don't want to fuck, they do not like you, period. I don't care what none of them bitches say. Oh, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for that. Nah, bitch, you don't like me. I don't care. I've been with too many bitches that fuck me immediately for me to even believe that dumb ass shit that you're about to say. I, I can't believe it. Okay, and then this is the third final test. If a girl really likes you or just wasting your time, she submits to you. Not just having sex with you. Because some bitches, they, bro, one night stand, hook up culture. They'll just fuck you because they bore her. They'll just fuck you because they want to see what it's like. 
If that don't mean that they gonna stay around and be down for the crown, then what the fuck I'm saying? So this is why I say, um, when it comes to submission, it's not just submitting to you sexually, cause as I got older and got more experience, I'm like, that don't mean nothing, bro. Bitches fuck any nigga that they like. And that don't make me feel special. You done fucked about a thousand niggas on the first night. Not saying, because once again, it make me feel special because I know you really like me. Unless you would have played, you would have played hide and seek with the pussy. But it don't make me feel any more special because you gave that away to another nigga before. But how many women gave a nigga money? Meaning, not on no funny shit like, oh, here go a few dollars. No, bitch, I need this amount of money for you to get with me or I'm not even about to play with you. If you're not trying to help me build my business and further my plans and agenda, I don't want to be with you. Then they break you off some money. That's a different level of submission. She's literally submitting to you because money is worthless. It's just green pieces of paper. But it's what money symbolizes work labor also she's a woman women are not supposed to give men money so it's her making a sacrifice of her own even uh imperative her own female imperative if she's willing to go against her own female imperative for you that's a different level of like bro that's a different level of love and then not just money because a lot of bitches is broke as shit <laughs> you feel what i'm saying so even like food, bro, bringing you food, bringing you weed, bringing you backwoods, bringing you snacks. I, the effort is so beautiful, bro. I love when a woman, she might not have money, but she brought me food. That's that's a she's trying to show you extra that I like you. This is, women don't really have that many tricks in their bag besides giving you pussy. But I love when a girl show extra effort, like she offers to do things for you. Can I fold your clothes for you? That's a different level of she's trying to show you that she likes you and she's doing what she thinks would make this man like her. So that's the first thing. She want to hang out with you. Two, she want to give you the pussy. Three, she's submitting to you in some way, shape, form or fashion. If she does not do all three of these things, she don't like you like that. Oh, and then speaking of fucking, I know this going to sound crazy, but it's the truth, bro. If she wants you to fuck raw, bro, she definitely likes you, bro. She extremely likes you, bro. Because you know what that means? That means she don't mind if you get her pregnant. That's what it really means. Bitches are not as dumb as they act. And then again, once again, they are animals like we are animals. Their job is to produce with a man that they deem high value strong successful even if you might think damn this nigga a bum ass nigga because i've been a bum ass nigga all my life up until recently like i never had a car i never really had like uh i, I, I had the jobs but i would use that to fund my football career so i never really had like outward shows of wealth i still don't now but they would still i would meet bitches that liked me and you gotta think once again money is fake even cars they symbolize status but it's fake but when i mean what is real what is always going to be real cheekbones teeth muscles broad shoulders aggression these are things in the animal kingdom that if the world collapsed today i like to call it butt naked if a bitch don't like you and your butt naked essence, she really don't like you. See, that's another example. Butt naked essence. If you don't got no haircut, that's another thing I noticed. When I didn't have a haircut, that's another thing. That the, the, the tall bitch, she chose me when I didn't have no haircut. This one ghetto bitch, I ain't had no haircut. The recent German girl, I was looking like a fucking caveman. I'm like, why do you even think I'm attractive? Because she wanted you in your butt naked essence. The essence of a man. I didn't have no, I don't got no cool car. But even in the gym, I didn't display that I had a car. Nigga, I was in a white beater fucking going ham looking like a fucking Tarzan. And that bitch was like, yeah, he's dominant. He's strong. I want his dick in my pussy. That's the realest essence of a man. Who you is butt naked. No gun, no car, no wealth, no money. Your butt naked essence of a man, that's the truest man. On some Tarzan shit, to be honest. 
So if a woman like you in your butt, your butt naked essence, she really likes you. So this is a video on how to know if a hoe really about you or she just want to get something new. Dig what the fuck I'm saying. So like, share, subscribe, that you did.